researcher that wishes to estimate the proportion of adults who have a high speed internet, internet access, what sample should be obtained if she wishes the estimate to be within 0.03, roughly 3%, with 99% confidence? So we need to find the sample size. She uses an estimate of 0.42. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the equation. Let me see if I can get my thing. Um, for A, N is equal to P hat. 1 minus p hat is equal to, well, this is our critical our critical value, our confidence interval, or 2 over the error squared. Uh, if, if you use the normal, and or this equation can be derived from it. So anyway, what this ends up being is p hat's going to be equal to um, 0.42, which they already had there. Oops. So 0 0.42, 1 minus 0 0.42 um, times, so the confidence interval for 99, or divided by 2, so ju ju ju. let me pull it up here to show you, show you instead of just saying what it is, so you understand. So 99, 1 minus 99 is 0.01, and we want to go to 0 0.05, so z value down here is going to be 2.576. We'll go with 2.58 though. Should give us roughly what we need. So 2.58 divided by 0 0.03 squared. And I cannot do that in my head, so we're gonna calculate it. So this will give us 0.42, one minus 0.42 times 2.58 divided by 0 0.03 raised to the second. Uh, one thousand eight hundred one point six six five six, and usually in cases like this, even if it's rounds down to eighteen oh one, you'd round up. So one thousand eight hundred two um, adults would be needed in order to get a confidence interval uh, within three percent of what she's estimating, and then with no prior estimate. Um, when that happens, when you have no prior estimate, what you do is this is for part B. The P hat portion, this entire portion here, just gets replaced by 0 0.25. I think 0 0.25, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, it's like 50-50. It's just a 0 0.5 times 1 minus 0 0.5. It, that's the best way to go if you have no other way. And it's basically 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 squared, which is 0 0.25, and that's how it's derived. So this times 2.58 over 0 0.03 squared and what happens when we get that is well 1849 but just so you believe me i'll go ahead and do it so we just do 0.25 and yep 1849 on the dot so anyway that's how we do that i hope this helped you out i appreciate you watching and you have a great day